What's up? I'm Zach Muscola, USA Creative Director for Tony and Guy. Very excited and proud to present to you Collection NYC. This year we've done something that we've never done before. We've gathered all the top art directors from across the country. We've got LA, Phoenix, Dallas, Atlanta, and New York City. We've got everyone together to unify our vision to create these signature looks. Inside of this collection, we have a lot of versatility. We have six strong haircuts. Two of the haircuts can be worn very edgy. The other two can be worn with a little bit more of a modern classic feel. And the two gents haircuts can be worn both ways, very edgy or very commercial. You know what I really like about my haircut is it's actually got a little bit of the whole collection in it because on the way you cut it, meaning the lengths, the way you texturize it, the personalizing it, it can be worn with a real nice classic soft graduated feel or it can be worn with a bit more of a stronger disconnected feel. So you can get, all depending on your lengths, quite a few different looks out of this haircut. Very strong, very classic. Apply S-Factor Silky Smooth Moisture Serum as a cutting lotion. Establish a profile parting. and isolate the entire front hairline, securing it out of the way. At the high recession, take a horseshoe section, incorporating the crown area. Divide the hair with the central vertical parting from the crown to the nape. Take a diagonal forward parting from the occipital out to the ear on both sides. And then take a pivoting section down into the nape. Comb the section to 90 degrees and point cut to decrease in length towards the hairline. Continue with pivoting sections, point cutting at 90 degrees, stopping behind the ear. Repeat the same technique on the opposite side. Mm -hmm. 
move up the head with another diagonal forward parting from above the occipital to the top of the ear on both sides. Using the guide from the underneath, continue with pivoting sections, point cutting at 90 degrees. Repeat the technique on the opposite side. Cross-check the balance. Underneath the horseshoe section, continue with pivoting sections. Point cut at 90 degrees maintaining an increase in length towards the crown, stopping behind the ear. From the ear forward, use a block graduation technique, using the guide to length already established at the back. Maintain this technique through to the front hairline. Repeat this same approach on the opposite side. To detail the hair around the ear, take slight diagonal forward sections, comb to 90 degrees, and point cut to remove excess length. Take a profile section Comb to 90 degrees
and from the crown forward, point cut square. This creates a disconnected guideline from the underneath. Continue by taking pivoting sections from the crown through to the front hairline. Come to 90 degrees and point cut square following the guideline. Repeat the technique on the opposite side. Isolate the fringe area at the recession on both sides. Take a central vertical section and using the guide to length from the top, comb to 90 degrees and cut, rounding with the forehead. Take vertical sections and over direct to the centre guide, creating a rounded fringe. Repeat the technique on the opposite side. Blow dry using hands and a large round brush. Work around the ear freehand, cleaning any excess length. Detail the fringe, adding strength to the line. Personalise the interior with deep point cutting to finish the shape. <laughs> 